Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag, and today we're back at it again with the updated new and improved Bridge Spam. This deck is disgusting, so easy to play, and it has so many great matchups. Hunter plus Freeze on defense is unbelievably overpowered. And of course the Hunter has really good counter push potential because it kills a whole bunch of squishy swarm units. And then you're even able to freeze on offense, especially in double licks, you're able to freeze on defense and then on offense and cycle back to it. It's pretty crazy. This deck works super well against Logbait since you do have Barbarian Barrel. It's just high key, very aggressive and very defensive at the same time. It's a nice hybrid. Check it out for 12 win grand challenges or hit it up on the ladder. It's very good in the global tournament or grand challenges. All right, we're going to be saucing out of good luck here. This guy is going to be going in for skeletons in the back. So it's probably going to be 2.6 hog rider. Does he even know? Okay, never mind. 2.9 expo. All right, man. This is going to be very hard for you to deal with the bandit. Go for battle ram. He's probably going to go for a Tesla. That's what I would expect. No, he's not going to... What does he have? Is this not expo? Bro. What is this whack deck? We go minions behind the ice golem. So then we do dueling aggression. All right, never mind. This is not going to be 2.9, but he's got star level cards. Oh, no. All right, probably going to have to freeze this. Wait for him to freeze first. I'm going to ice golem here instead of going in for a bandit. Don't really want to waste my bandit. No hits. Battle ram in front of the hunter. Get counter push potential. So, got to love the hunter plus freeze combination. Hunter is really fragile in a lot of scenarios. And if it gets frozen, you need to freeze as well, obviously. Balloon is quite scary, man. Balloon freeze. Can't mess around with that. He's probably going to go in for another one. No, he's just going to arrows. He thought minions, but he didn't get them. Thankfully, I didn't go for minions. I would have lost my tower there. I'm going to go for the bandit. Plus Hunter combination. Gotta love that combination because the Hunter just removes any type of Swarm unit really, really quickly for the Bandit to break through. So whenever you defend with the Hunter, counter push with a Battle Ram or a Bandit, really, really good. They drop stuff on top of the Battle Ram. Obviously, the Hunter will shred it after. Can't really reliably peck on top of that either. It's going to get wrecked by damage. Battle Ram here. I could Poison to finish off the Tower. I'm also going to hit the King Tower because the Tower dies. So the King Tower would have been activated regardless. I'm going to minions here and I know he's going to arrow, but I should be able to get some damage on top of the uh, mini P.E.K.K.A. And I should be able to card cycle too. I want to Ice Golem here. I also want a Barbarian Barrel just to keep the bandit a little bit healthier. Looks like he's just going to go in. I have to go minions. And I think we uh, outcycle them here. He's definitely going to freeze. But he's not going to have Elixir for the arrows in time. So that's perfect for us. So I realize that minions in the grand scheme of things might appear useless, but they're not. You just need to make sure that you don't give them value and you don't solely rely on the minions to finish off the tower or finish off whatever it needs to be done. He also thought that uh, we were going to go for minions again. But yeah, there we go. We will win this game because he just uses arrows, then we end up counter pushing. Also, when you're running arrows, if you're running an arrow stack, which you probably shouldn't be running, but if you do run arrows... Never, and I mean never, go in for prediction arrows. You don't need to. Stop it. <laughs> Why would anyone ever go for prediction arrows? I don't know, but sometimes people do it. All right, we're going to ban it in the back. We're going to see what's up. We got a game against Julian. He's going to go for minions. So after we see minions, probably going to be Pekka deck. Very few people actually run the deck that I'm playing. I'm going to go for minions, supported by the Ice Golem. And we're going to see what's up. Does he actually want to do anything with that or nah? Nah, he's not doing anything. Dead minions. Oh, this is really good, guys. I love seeing the collector in the middle like that because I can poison and also get value because the battle ram is making him drop units right into the vicinity of the poison, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have huntered. So, poison got even more value. Finish off the hunter. Four for four trade. Kill the collector. And then even got tower damage. So, an even trade there, but we got tower damage. He's definitely running three on, by the way. That's going to connect to the tower. That's really good for us. He's going to go counter push really hardcore here. I'm going to bar barrel here. Hopefully we can get more value with the minions as a result. And yes, we do. We end up baiting out an ice golem. So when he goes in for a collector, he's going to go in the back. So we can't poison that anymore. He's going to go back left. So he's going to go right here. So I'm kind of waiting for that. If he decides to do that, we might just switch. But 
Doesn't look like that's uh, going to be the case scenario. He might go for 3M. He might be hoping that we gear up and spam him into the 3M, but I, I don't really want to do that. Not about that life, brother. I'd much rather go for a battle ram here. And then, go in for minions right on top of your one muskie. Hunter as well. We're chilling. Get out of here, dude. I knew exactly what he was about to do because that was like the thing that most bridge fan players do is they spam in that situation. So he was predicting me to do that play, but we're not doing that, man. Get out of here with those thoughts. Oh, Hunter even got chip damage on the tower too. This is really good for us. He's going to 3M. He's gearing up for it again. I could freeze them. Freeze bar barrel, guys. The wave. Is that the wave? I think that might be the wave. Look at the bar barrel. How is this fair? I just froze and bar barreled and basically killed the entirety of three musketeers. That's six elixir. I don't think that's fair, guys. Spoiler alert. I'm going to minions battle ram here. And I can also freeze the hunter so he doesn't get tower damage on us. Or he doesn't get damage on top of the uh, battle ram. And the battle ram should connect. Then I should be able to get some very juicy poison if I want to. I'm not going to because I think that it might be an overcommitment. Minions might actually just do a ton of damage to the tower anyway. Yeah, guys, this is going so well. Why is this deck so good? I think that Bar Barrel plus Freeze should not be a thing against three Musketeers, man. I'm going to go for two Poisons, and I will win the game as a result. So here we go. I'm not even going to care. I'm just going to passively cycle cards here. And I guess the game doesn't want me to even passively cycle cards. This is going to give me the W already because Bandit coming in, stealing the game, clutching it up. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Wow, this deck is OP. I don't think this deck is fair. Alright, we're going to go Bandit in the back, and this guy's going to go in for a Mega Minion. See what's up. Mega Minion probably means tank deck. After seeing an Ice Spirit, I'm not so sure of that anymore. And Ice Spirit Bar Barrel. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to have a quite a cycle deck right now. I don't really know exactly what this is. Oh, Ram Rider. Alright, so I feel like I'm probably going to have to freeze this. We'll see, though. Maybe I can just Barbarian Barrel and be okay. No, I have to freeze. That's going to get a hit otherwise. Can't let that happen. It would stun my minion. That's really unfortunate. Didn't have any other ability to stop it, though. And I could Ice Golem here, but i also really rather just Bandit. Bandit's going to pull that opposite, and I'm going to get more value out of the Bandit counter push. It's going to bait out units that he doesn't want to drop. Ice Spirit Bats. It's three Elixir that just dies. Doesn't do anything for him here. He might go for a Ram Rider on this. That's what I would expect. And then... Oh, he's got Mini Packer too. Yikes. Fireball. I should have expected that because we saw the Fireball earlier. I don't know what I'm doing. It's a really bad play on my end. What you gonna do, dude? That's gonna die unless you decide to freeze. <laughs> if he has Fireball Freeze, that could be pretty bad for us. We have Poison Freeze, so... You know. Got the sauce. I'm gonna go Bar Barrel here. Maybe I can get some tower. Oh, let's go! Predictions, Kappa. Definitely not predicted at all, but we'll say it was. Let's go. That was clean. Oh, you didn't even see the Goblin Gang, boys. And we are out here, man. We are still making a presence with our minions. All right, hopefully we can win this game. Oof. I'm going to go for Bar Barrel here. And I'm going to go for Bandit as well. Okay, there he is. He's giving me that freeze value. Snack and a half, my man. He's going to fireball it, but I'm okay with it. As long as I deny. Defend the virginity. He also doesn't have fireball back in cycle, so now I can freely spam him. Like a true sir. We're out here. Unfortunately, he also has Ice Spirit with the Mini Packa. Otherwise, I feel like we would have broken through by now. This is definitely not an easy matchup for us. He has a lot of ways of mitigating any type of push that we throw at him. He's going to go for a Ram Rider again. It's a fact. It's going to die. I'm going to go Ice Golem here. kind of want to go... I want him to fireball that. I hope he does. Maybe he doesn't. He's going to fireball left then. Should fireball something. <laughs> okay. I was waiting for that. I'm going to ban it on the left. Okay. Looking like a free snack and a half for us. That's really good. Now I can get counter push potential on both sides. Ice Golem in front. 
Want a battle ram? Battle ram should have been dropped one more tile back so it could have charged a little bit quicker. He's going to fireball. Oh, let's go! Chief patted that fireball. I don't know why he said let's go. It's not like I did anything good. He just kind of fat failed there. <laughs> it's like I'm proud of myself for him missing a fireball. Why am I proud of myself, guys? I totally had involvement on that play. Let's let's be honest here. 100% my, my plays that caused that. I instilled fear into him. I'm so stupid. I don't know why I was happy there. Whatever. Screw it, guys. We're going to go for a bandit. And I don't even know if it can win this. This might just be a draw. I know that that should die before it gets a hit. And it actually does get a hit. Yikes. It's a major yikes for me, big dog. It looks like he's probably just going to keep spamming us. Decent freeze value. He's going to fireball. Oh, wow. Hunter can't even hit it. All right, yeah, Hunter. Can you please hit the Ram Rider? Okay, thank you. Took you too long, man. Oh, my goodness. The mini puck is so obnoxious with the Ice Spirit. He's got so many ways of stopping us. How are we going to break through this? This might just be a draw, guys. I am sorry to say. I was hoping that we would win this game, but it is not looking good for us. Unless we get a glorious freeze off on him. Yo, he just ran right into a hunter. How is that a good play? I guess it is if you get a hit. You do. Can you fireball? Please? My man. Yeah. I have to go in for a freeze on top of that ice spirit, man. Oh, did he? This is not good. These are not nice things happening to me. I do not appreciate this behavior. This is just going to be a draw. I mean, in all intents and purposes, how am I supposed to break through a Ice Spirit, Fireball, Mini Pekka deck, where he's also has the potential of breaking through with a Ram Rider at any point? It's just, like, really obnoxious. I, I think this is an incredibly favorable matchup for him. It's kind of bad if he even draws this. So I'm just going to go in for a uh, Ice Golem here. Ban it again. Go for a hunter off to the side because it's probably a fireball. And if he fireballs, I could play pretty aggressive. I guess I'm going to anyway. It's just going to be a draw, guys. It's going to fireball this on the left and nothing's going to happen. GG and well played. It's kind of a really tough matchup and I'm glad that I was just able to draw it. Sometimes you just have to succumb to defeat and realize, you know, I can't win it. I have to draw. All right, I'm going to go in for battle ram here and I'm going to go follow up with minions if he defends. Make sure that we get value. Not going to be able to fireball everything. There's no way. So we see guards, and then we see mega minions. So this might be Lava Hound Miner. There it is. He actually didn't drop it in the back, which is really weird. I guess he's going like next meta, because the best play is objectively dropping in the back, so then he draws back units, so then he can get units on top of my tower. But he went in front, expecting me to expect that, I guess. And I think the... Bandit does get a hit on the tower, which is pretty good for us. No, it gets more than one. That's really good. Plus the uh, hunter gets damage. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go for a battle ram. Go kite that. I need that baby dragon to get away from me. So then I can minions. And then if he drops anything, I'm going to hunter on top. So this is a pretty good matchup for us. If I play perfectly. If he doesn't have tombstone. We'll see. I'm going to go Barbarian Barrel here to tank for the minions. Just going to Mega Minion, okay. That's not very scary at all. I hope he miners. I'm going to ban it preemptively in case. He doesn't. He's going to Inferno Dragon though. So I want to go opposite. I don't want to give him too much value here. He was already expecting me to spam there. And I didn't. As a result, we get a lot of tower damage. So, he's a good player. This guy's really good. He's expecting me to make, um, like, I don't know. He's expecting me to do things that most bridge band players would do. I'm going to go Hunter here so I can get back to another, I believe. I want to go Bandit and then Battle Ram here, left. I don't want him to be able to stockpile a huge push on us. And by the looks of it, he has like no elixir, so this is really good. Even poison if I wanted to. I'm gonna resort to minions. And I'm gonna poison an ice golem. So then the Inferno Dragon dies. 
I'm going to ban it here on top of the miner. That was obvious as well. I'm going to bar barrel so then the baby dragon locks onto that. Hopefully, oh, that was the one misplay that I've done so far. wonder how much it's going to cost me. It's going to cost me dearly. Look at how much I lost my tower there. So much. It's going to fireball. Very well played. So this guy's a very, very good player. I know I keep saying that, but... Gotta compliment GC players when they're actually really good. Doesn't happen that they're this good this often. Try to get a battle ram on him. Go minions. The bandit does break through. Looks like all I need is a poison and then a connection of some sort. Ice golem here. And he's super scared. So all I need to do is just go in for another poison. I will win the game. I need to go in for... The freeze doesn't kill it, does it? Hunter right on top. Poison. Freeze does 36. So yeah, if I froze, I would have lost the game. GG, well played, and peace out, Girl Scout. Very good player.